Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is Kells, and welcome to episode 10 of our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. We are chugging along. The support on the series has been killer, so thank you all so much. Uh, today we start with astronomy class, which I'm actually pretty excited about. I've played a lot off stream doing the side quests and all that. So we're like level 25 or something. We're, we're over leveled for where we should be. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Okay, let's begin astronomy class. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Gosh, we Unless look so dumb. The heavens <laughs> remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. still don't have your own you can't be the new student forever you know you can share with mr takar here i can adjust that for no, you no no bring it into focus on your own oh focus oh that's cool now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is Heck that yeah. clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Okay, that was Hello oh, okay. Again. Brilliant class, wasn't it? I prefer astronomy over potions, don't you? Of course, we Ravenclaws tend to do well in any class. <laughs> oh, hello, all meet. Nice to see you again. That's the first time I you're gonna say hello Professor to him. Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope. I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Uh, okay. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of sure. course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. Okay. I have some uh reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, okay. Oh, what? I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, good, that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius? Am I hand is too cold to use a telescope? This was his old telescope. All right, we got the telescope. <sighs> and now let's go find new. Amit. <sighs> a pristine night for the Revelio. I have the telescope. It's nicer <sighs> than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Oh, cool. Uh, and you want help finding it? And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, 
They are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Let's do it. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Off we go then. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone. Revelio. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go then. Lumos! Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Ooh, are we gonna interact with centaurs for the first time? Huh. It is nice having a fellow okay, star I'm it. to explore with. That, that's great, but let's Happy go. to be here. It is good to leave the glass from now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am. Charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Rebellion. Um, okay. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Also, just not as tidy as I expected. Rebellion. Chest with nothing in it. More cobwebs. Ah. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? I think this is oh, it. No. There's a devil. This, this is the stargazing. Oh, okay. I know where the other one is. Go on. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Ah. Oh, this is really cool. Rotate. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Look at that. That's really neat. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was, was really cool. valuable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. Great. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Amit. You're welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. Of course it does. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Okay. <laughs> nice. Astronomy class complete. Here, for now, what we're going to do is the high keep. Meet Natty uh, near F Falbarton Castle. And to do that, we have to go way outside of school grounds. We gotta be all the way over here. So I'm a, a flew over to Hogsmeade, and then we're gonna fly over there, and I'll see you all when I get there. It's okay, here, here we are. Quietly. I'm glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Okay. Rosie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? Yeah, this is not As like promised, her. I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Hallow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? No, they didn't. Rookwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep Why does she think quiet? she's so important that I we can't I can lie to her? Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something if Professor If I just Fig met somebody at a Gringotts. school I just Where got to, I wouldn't be Gringotts? saying everything either. Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... 
What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. Let's do it. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed her. I kind of want to go in uh, loud and proud I so we can get a bunch of XP. Alright, well, let's go. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. Sure. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Rebellion. Hmm. I wonder what that does. Huh. I bet we have to use the pulso. Perhaps something. That did it. Accio. I see, I see, I see. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. All right. Look at that. Rebellion. A plus wizard, right, y'all? Oh, an unidentified legendary item. That's what we like to see. need to find a way into see. the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Rebellion. Dead end. Must be another way in. Ah, uh, no. Ah, yeah. We just have to do that. Look at that big brain moment. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Oh, seriously? There we go. Perfect. Well done. I will be right back. Oh. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Okay. How did you what? We know that too. <laughs> that Rebellion. is the name keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Why is she freaking out? Yeah. Come on. Restrain the pain. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is depressing. Where is Peter on this one? High wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Get these things back now. We looked at her like, bitch. What do you think? No plan. I get the evidence, and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Ugh. Blasted. There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. I'm sure Somewhere. there will be. I think it's right here. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Oh, a new scarf? We'll check all the gear at the end of this. Uh, okay, and then we need to levy our stuff. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we don't need to do that. Revelio. Ah, I see. We do need to. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. There we go. Look at that. The we are just place to sneak into. In Rebellion. Oh. Nice. Really? You were, gold, you were guarding 18 gold? That's it? Oh, and a chest. 
Okay. Okay, okay. You're regarding like 50, 56 gold, but that's okay. 55. Revenue. That's what you get for playing Assassin's Creed for years and years and years. Oh, that's that's inside. Duh. Hello, Amora. Oh, okay, we're gonna pick the lock. Very nice. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. I mean, ours has been pretty easy. Aloha, Mora. I don't think we have to unlock this, but I want the stuff inside. Two chests. Two legendary unidentified items. That is pretty awesome. Uh, okay. It looks like we're not supposed to go up here, but... Maybe there's... Something? No, not really. Not much of anything. That's all right. At least we looked. Revelio. Oh. You're going home in a wooden box. It's all about having a keen eye. Like me, for instance. My eyes as keen as a niffler's. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Will you? It's really cool to ride the uh, to ride Mr. Best High Wing here. Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. This is so freaking cool. I hope you guys don't mind that we've really taken our time with this game. I think it's like the beginning of March by now, ish. But I'd rather uh, upload it on my regular schedule than uh, try to force it all out. Isn't it? It's pretty awesome, I will say. Oh, that is that's so cool. And now I assume now we'll have the option to call him instead of our broom. How exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. 
I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. I can't wait Be to learn it. We just gotta talk of to course. Sebastian a few times. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Hyrule before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. Huh. I don't know <laughs> why. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Huh. I don't know why the game... Uh oh. I hope this whole episode hasn't been like this. All right, everybody, um, I'm actually having an issue with OBS, as you saw from that last little bit. I left the audio in, but the screen was black for some reason, so this is going to be a super short episode, so we're going to call it here. Um, I'm going to figure out what's wrong before I start episode 11, but thank you guys for sticking with me so much. It means the world. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.